and welcome crafty friends this is Rachel crafting mama bear today I'm going to show you how I put together this gift basket for my sister's family and they are a family of seven I put together this gift basket for them and it was under ten dollars so first thing I got was this um, cute little green bucket and I'm going to line it with a couple pieces of tissue paper I really like this red and white um, tablecloth pattern and so I'm gonna make sure to put that on top because that's the pattern that I want to be seen the most in this bag I'm going to be adding some hot cocoa supplies and a couple games for them to play um, for the five kids four of them are teenagers and I thought that they would all just enjoy some family time playing some games. So I'm including some of this Swiss Miss hot chocolate from Dollar Tree. There are only six packages that come in this box and that's not going to be enough for seven. So I used some leftover um, packages from when I did my Christmas mugs and there ended up being 10 packages total. I'm just going to separate those into bundles of five and then I'm going to tie them together using some of this um, green and white Baker's twine from Dollar Tree. I thought about adding a puzzle or a pack of um, just regular playing cards to this, but I controlled myself and I kept it as simple as possible. I always bake them, um, not always, but it's been a new thing where I'm starting to just make them goodies for Christmas instead of trying to figure out what these teenagers want. So I'm going to include some peppermint sticks. I had I uh, purchased one whole bag and then I had some leftovers that I'm going to put into one of these Dollar Tree uh, Red Truck um, goodie bags and it fit perfectly in there. And then I'm going to be using some leftover ribbon from my wreaths to tie a little knot at the top of this. And then I didn't want to add the marshmallows in this bag. So, excuse me, I grabbed two more of the Red Trek goodie bags and then I just filled them up with marshmallows. I will likely go ahead and just give them the remainder um, of the bag because the two Red Truck goodie bags only took up about half of this bag of marshmallows. And once I have that filled up where I want it, I will go ahead and um, use another scrap piece of ribbon and tie that together. I did also think about just going to Walmart and grabbing one of those big tins of hot chocolate but that meant that I would have had to go to Walmart the week before Christmas and yeah I just wasn't feeling it so to put these in the basket I'm going to put the games on the bottom and then stack my other items on top they won't be able to see the games um, once it's all put together and packaged but that's all right I'll tell them that they're in there <laughs> And for wrapping it up, I like to use these um, gift wrap bags that come two in a package at Dollar Tree. You can use the cello wrap, but these are way easier um, and they're huge. So they're gonna fit just about any basket that you decide to use. And make sure that you um, tuck the um, tissue paper that's what I'm trying to say um, down so it's not all bunched up and I did go ahead and include 
one of these Dollar Tree um, snowflake silver ornaments. My sister has one of those trendy black Christmas trees and I thought this would look really pretty on it. So once you have everything together, you're gonna, um, I like to tape down the sides so the corners aren't poking out and just tuck them back and use a little bit of tape and then it gives it a more finished look. And then these bags are really long. So after I tie it up, I'm going to cut off probably five or six inches off the top of the bag. And to tie it up, I thought I was just going to use this um, baker's twine again and just put a bow and leave it like that. But I didn't like that and I ended up adding a wired ribbon bow that I tied up. So this is going to be my last video for 2018. I will be back in the new year with some uh, more DIY projects. I have a couple winter wreaths that I'm going to be showing you uh, as long, sorry, as well as some um, Valentine's DIYs. I also will be um, getting ready for my daughter's first birthday and if you are interested in seeing any of those DIYs um, just leave a comment and let me know if that's something you're interested in um, or otherwise I just won't film when I'm doing those. So when you're adding a ribbon bow and it's not, it doesn't have a pattern on both sides, just make sure that you're twisting it around so you're getting the pretty part of the bow uh, facing the outside. And then I went ahead and uh, fishtailed the ends of my ribbon. So this is a really quick and easy and expensive gift basket that I'm sure they'll um, enjoy. They'll definitely get use out of it. Uh, it drives me crazy when people give me stuff that's completely useless around Christmas time. So if you're gonna give a gift, make sure that it's useful. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and a wonderful new year. Until next time, bye-bye.